Well, I mean, we've got the weekly rankings that are coming in. I've, I've been, I mean, I've, I've heard that also that if Diego's able to convert this title, he can go to world number two. That's what I've heard. That's not being completely confirmed. And I don't want to throw myself under the bus, which I do on a regular basis. But uh, anyway, the players are now ready for this men's final. Marwan El Shabagi, the number five seed from Egypt, taking on the number four seed from Peru, Diego Elias. Please welcome from Egypt, Marwan El Shabagi. His opponent is 26 years old. He's ranked number five in the world and our number four seed. Please welcome from Peru, Diego Elias. They've been the best two players in the tournament this week and it's a very fitting final for these two for me personally. Hasn't dropped a game yet, Marwan El Shabagi. Sliced his way through the draw. Last night he won in just 50 minutes. Well, clever final with your match. Diego Elias approved to serve. Well, there's Mike Marwan Riley, Shibagi who will be in the hot seat for this one. Best of five games. Love all. And his VR is Jason Foster. And we're into this men's final of the JP Morgan Tournament of Champions 2023. very lengthy first rally because these players have literally just finished the warming the ball up you can just see the, the height of the bounce sitting up extremely high the auditorium here is absolutely roasting and it generally takes probably about 30 minutes before this ball starts to slow down and soften up and then we'll start to see the, the players moving around and attacking those front two corners with a little bit more frequency well that is stacked to the front wall now the front wall is the pass by to go on to, this is my geography right, Lexington Avenue? Uh, yes, correct, Joey. So these are commuters, they're non paying, and they've got that prime position on the front wall. What do you say? It's nearly 10 deep, at least. Yeah, I mean, it's, we've alluded to this earlier in the week. 750,000 commuters a day come through this station. And with that entrance, actually, it's actually 42nd Street that comes through there. You're probably looking at about 100,000, I reckon, come through here. And now they're starting to kind of get their slots early on, and they're, they're plotted up for a good 45 minutes before the, the show starts. So. I know, it's brilliant. It's really, really cool. They're obviously not fussed about missing their trains. <laughs> Very similar first rally for Elias in last night's match against Cole. I think it was about three minutes long. Three minutes, 42 seconds. Amazing. A real lump buster. I wouldn't disagree with you. Again, yeah, it's as long as he's up to the challenge physically. I think even though it was an 85 minute battle last night against Cole, they were just kind of long, lengthy rallies. They weren't really dynamic and explosive rallies. No, it was more just the, the duration rather than the amount of work that was done. And again, you see Rod, Rod Martin. First point on the board for Elshie Baggy. That will settle down a few nerves. Well, we've had ten minutes for five points, which is 
healthy duration. <laughs> oh, it's got it. Out. Out. This is this is terrific. I love this start from Elias. Yeah, talk about sending out a message, PJ. And out when you've got the likes one. of Well Il Hindi, Jonathan Power. Gregory Gorty on your corner. They've played Marwan on numerous occasions. They'll have those collectively. The tactics absolutely bang on. It's good use of the boast from Elias. Starting to play that. Starting to do that last night against Cole, actually, about two thirds of the way in. And you can see it just seeping the energy out of the quads of Cole. A two wall working boast that just you have to take it before it hits the side wall, otherwise, it dies with the second bounce. It's impressive, isn't it? Doing it with the ball this hot. Both these guys hitting their corners nicely, it's really enjoyable watching the quality of the, the work to the back of the court. Just feel that El Shabagi could look to possibly volley a little bit more. That first motion, looking to go forwards a touch and just speed up Diego Elias a touch. He's quite happy to revert into those back two corners, Marwan. It's beautiful, he's got it. Well, that looked dodgy. Oh, oh, oh my word. That was... Very, very cool. He put in a beautiful one here. And, and then, sick of that. Two. Soft his hands in Peru. The problem that Moen El Shabagi's got now is clearly there's an issue in his mind with the central referee. If, if there's been an overall on two occasions now, it's, it's, there's going to be an element of anxiety that will come into El Shabagi when he asks for a decision. Well, there's been three. Three overalls. Pressure again. I do like the quality of this work. I know you're saying about the tempo, but this is this is this is squash at its purest. You know, you've got Eight all these two. views of the game. This is really classical, well-class squash. Good work to the back, and then when the opportunities there, take it into the front. Two. We've been waiting for this type of squash from him. Interesting to see just how animated yeah, Rodney Sierra. Martin gets That's in between two, games yeah. here. Oh, we're seeing that now, PJ, because he needs a little bit of the hairdryer treatment, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He certainly does. 20 minutes, and look at the score. Two points for Marwan El Shabag. He's leading one game, game to love. He's up against uh, a ball control and a confidence that he's not found. He's not. He's not come up against this in this tournament so far. I mean, it, you said it yourself. This is the best that you've seen. Diego Elias probably play in the first game, and I'm, I'm pretty much in agreement with you as well. He hasn't put foot wrong, PJ. No, no, it's been immaculate so far. One love. Could it possibly, Joey, be a case of, if, if you look at Diego's run through, he had an 85 minute belter last night against Paul Cole, and Marwan El Shabagi's coming to this, hasn't really been blooded, has he? And he's won every match three love, so he's not gone through those tense moments in a match where that, that can actually toughen you up and, and just get you into that mindset when, when, when things go against you or get, get tough. It's a very good point, and, it, and, it, and it's completely true. 
I feel that he does need an adrenaline rush, Marwan. He's a character that is on edge. You can see what he, his reaction to, to Mike Riley. He's got a you know, fieriness about him, and he needs that. He needs that bit of extra, yep. you know, that kind of something just to recheck him slightly. I think this is, a, this is obviously a tactic for Diego Elias. It's the second Me time too. he's done that now. He's taken the initial drop in. Marwan struggles to reach it, then he counter drops him again to send him back into that corner. Yeah, that, that, that's playing out. That, that movement is a difficult, it's not a natural movement for Marwan. You know, he's tall and rangy, that power he's got him. Very good. You know, he was a very, very good cross country runner, Marwan, when he was a teenager. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. This is tough. This is tough. Fully stretched there. Just clipping the top of the tin. El Shabagi fully rally. stretched. Honestly, PJ, that was a hard, yeah, that was hard tough. rally. It was. This is, isn't it? Sublime squash from Elias. Got the credit, El Shabagi, oh for still being in these oh. rallies. <laughs> oh, there's the scandal. Why is he pushing him? Say, so, well, <laughs> how'd you do it? What am I meant to do against you? You're literally all over me like a rash. You're reading me like a book, covering everything. <laughs> the reflexes are there. And now, all that training with those alpacas back in <laughs> Peru is really paying off for him. It's absolutely brilliant. Down. 6-10. Well, you can give him a bit of a, a bit of leeway here and there. Down. Oh, there's the error going in from Marwan. Elias, There's the determination. Elias and that's something that you, two games still up. It's becoming a real um, mainstay with Diego Elias. 36 minutes. The master class continues. Well, I think he's even got time to hug someone. I know, but I, but I think it hit a little droplet of sweat, that ball. Just watch the way it Two kicks one. off, unless he's just put loads of spin on it. He actually put loads of spin on that. There's no sweat. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, my goodness gracious me. This is how... Oh, that was... Had to be that good, but he's getting so, so much back. And out, 2 4. I don't think I've ever oh. seen Elias play this and, uh, well. He's hitting his targets like five, two. continually. And 
El Shabagi just does not have an answer. I mean, this is, I mean, he's, again, that weighted stroke and an outright winner in the back of the court. He's flapped it. He's got it! He's done it again. He's, it's an open book for him, PJ. He's reading two books at a time out there. 6-2. Seen glimpses, haven't we? Seen we? moments of brilliance from Elias, yeah, but, but he hasn't put it together quite as well as this, as long as this. No, I agree. Completely concur with you. The first time in my life. <laughs> Too good. He's broken him. Jago Elias is on the point of making history. Match four. He's the first South American ever to win. The Tournament of Champions here in New York City. He's done it! Diego Elias has produced a quite outrageous match. The quality of his play, his attitude has been second to none. He's going to be so, so emotional. What a deserving victor of this tournament. Former World Junior Champion at the grand old age of 26. has started to arrive on the PSA World Tour. He's going to go up and... Hugs all round to the entourage. His father's there as well. We talked about his coaches, but there is there's his father. He's been waiting for this for such a long period of time, is that? He's been in his ear. Finally, he's starting to listen. Brilliant for the game, PJ. What a cracking result for the game. The first South American ever to win the Tournament of Champions here in New York. His father, known as uh, the Tiger pointing to his head, he's been going on to his son for years, we tend not to listen to our fathers at times <laughs> he's also up team time former national champion, playing a very, very good level of squash himself he's a similar age to you actually PJ he'd probably give me a bit of a chopping these days Joey he's, uh... but he's travelled around the circuit with him, I remember when Elias first came onto the tour he uh, was travelling around with his dad, and he's still here now, witnessing him at his very dizzy heights. Well, they're very efficient here. We're now ready for the trophy presentation for both the men's and women's finalists. Marwan, I know tonight didn't go the way you hoped it would, um, but you had an amazing tournament here. Um, can you talk a little bit about the entire week? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good week, of course. Uh, reaching the, my first ever final here in New York uh, means a lot to me. Uh, Diego was too good today, he played very well. Uh, I think he, had a, he played well all week, to be honest. Uh, I want to congratulate him and his team. Uh, they have, he's been having a great season and, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's played very well and, uh, yeah, I'm very happy for him. And now for the 2023 men's champion, please welcome back Diego Elias. Diego, you are New York City, J.P. Morgan, Tournament of Champions champion. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. First, first of all, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just super excited. I, I still can't believe it. It's, it's like a dream come true. This tournament, it's always been my, my favorite. It, this is such a, such an amazing city. The people, it's full the whole week for every match. So, yeah, I'm just, I just can't believe <laughs> I'm here. And, uh, and yeah, I just, I just want to thank everyone for making this tournament possible. I uh, want to thank JP Morgan, John, uh, everyone that, that made this tournament possible. And, and yeah, I also want to thank uh, all, all my team. Um, 
this week it was very special for me. I had uh, my dad, Jonathan, Wael, uh, Greg, the, the four people that that helped me through my whole career, and and yeah, it's just like like a dream come true having all of them here with me this this week, and and yeah, and also the people that's been that that helped me my my whole career career outside the court. Uh, Mitch, he's he's watching. He's my my biggest sponsor, my biggest support, uh, and then yeah, all all my sponsors. Uh, Abir is also here. He's helped me a lot too. And yeah, I just I just wanna wanna thank everyone and also Marwan. Uh, I think I think he's playing great squash. Uh, and I wanna I wanna congratulate him and hopefully we can play many more finals together. A shared trophy between Norel Shabini, the winner of the women's event, and Diego Elias, the winner winner of the men's event. Four. Tournament of Champion titles for Norel Shabini to go with the six World Championship <laughs> titles that she's won. First Tournament of Champions title for Diego Elias. And once again, making history.